Hey guys, I've had a quite a bit of questions from how am I taking screen recordings or taking screen captures of my droid and I was I just wanted to show you guys this is how I'm doing it. I'll put all the links in the video description so make sure you check that out. What you need to do is you need to go to d.android.com, that's the developer's Android site. From there you just go to, there should be a little link to download, if it isn't you can just search it, it's going to be somewhere, it's always going to be there. You can also hit the SDK and whatnot. So once you get to the download page, you're going to download the one that is for you. So if I were to download it, once you download it, extract it and whatnot, you're going to have a folder. For my case it's the Mac, but it's the Android SDK. When you open that up, it's going to go into add-ons, platforms, and tools. Once you go through that, it's just going to go into tools, and then there's going to be one called DDMS. When you open it, for me, it's going to open up terminal, depending what machine you're going to use. Pretty much always going to use terminal. So make sure you have Java installed. Make sure you have Java 5, I think it requires. So go through the basic steps of how to go through it, and it will all be on this stuff, uh, how to install, and everything's there. So if you have any problems, just go there, and if there's any problems that aren't described there, just ask me. So, all right, so you're not seeing your phone right here, and there's a good reason for that. Because you have to go to the debugger, you have to let it be used for it. Since it is using a developer's tool, you have to allow your phone to be used for it. So after you've mounted it by just scrolling down this bar and just hitting the USB connected and then it will say mount or don't mount. So for this case you hit mount and then you're good. All right. The thing you have to do next is they have to go into settings because now it's on your computer but you're not going to see it on, your, on the application. So what you have to do is you have to go to the applications in settings and then you have to go to development. And then once you go to development, you use USB debugging. And that's going to allow you to show it up on your... Now it's going to allow you to show it up on the application. So, all right, so once you have everything on your computer, you have everything loaded, everything's looking great, everything says... All right. Ah. All right, so once you have everything... All right, so once you have everything running and showing up on your computer, you just need to go to Devices. After you've... Ah. All right, so once you have everything on your computer and you have everything loaded and everything's running fine, you go up to the taskbar after you've clicked on the phone that is shown here. You go to Devices and you do Screen Capture. From there... The only way to really get it live is to just keep pressing refresh and whenever you go to the next one just keep pressing refresh so I mean it's a kind of bummer and there is a way to do it more live but you have to get your phone rooted which hasn't come out for the droid Eris and I will post a link for the droid Motorola one. I will post a link for the Motorola droid how to root it if anyone was curious I can't really show any uh, tutorials for that since I don't have it but I will show a tutorial for the droid Eris when it, uh, it's an official download. So uh, thank you guys for watching I hope this helped and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Ask any questions that you want. Bye.